Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got very long question from one of my subscribers but this is very interesting because while we are going to solve this problem we are going to review a lot of different questions and you will know how to solve this type of problems. This is a single problem, I just broke it down to multiple statements and we are going to solve it in multiple steps. So this was my first step, to break the problem in the form which is convenient for me to use in order to solve this problem. Unlike like I do in my other videos, I am not going to read the whole problem, instead we are going to go in steps, we are going to solve for each statement first and then we are going to get our answer. So here is the first statement. The number of chromosomes present in a human skin cell is four more than number of chromosomes present in the sporangious cell of wheat plant. As you know, humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, so total it's going to be 46 chromosomes. Pay attention, we are talking here about human skin cell. It is diploid cell. And when we are talking that it is by four more the number of chromosomes present in sporangial cell of wheat plant. So what is a sporangial cell? It is not a spore. Spore is haploid. Sporangial cell is still diploid. It just gives a rise to haploid spore. So number of uh, chromosomes in a wheat in diploid uh, cell is going to be 46 minus 4 is going to be 42. Next statement, also the number of chromosomes in the endosperm of wheat plant is 3 more than the number of chromosomes present in the chick cells of the goat. So you have to pay attention to endosperm. Endosperm is triploid. Take a look. So imagine that this is a seed and this is embryo here and this is going to be endosperm. So embryo is going to be 2n diploid and endosperm is going to be 3n or 3 ploid. A seed or embryo using endosperm as energy source while it is growing. So let's imagine that it's growing and it take these resources here. So if diploid number of chromosome or 2n is equal to 42, we have found it here, then 3n is going to be 61. So if this is 42 and this is 2n then 1n is going to be 21, then 3n is going to be 21 times 3, and this is going to be 63. Let's put the 63 here on top, and this is going to be 3 more than the number of chromosomes present in the cheek cells of the goat. So 63 minus 3 is going to be 60 chromosomes present in the cheek cells of the goat. Next statement, the number of chromosomes in the ovum of the goat is two less than the number of chromosomes present in female European honeybee skin cell. First of all, I want to tell that uh, this problem I got from one of my subscribers and I just leave it as it is, thus it has mistakes, like uh, honeybees skin cell. Um, insects doesn't have any skin cells, they have exoskeleton made of chitin, this is protein, so this um, coat has pores through which insects breathe. And one more time, they don't have skin cell. So I just assume that here we are talking about um, diploid tissue. So let's analyze again the number of chromosomes in the ovum of the goat and we know that 2n, so let's put 2n here, 2n, number of chromosomes is 60. 
then means in the ovum, which is gamete, female gamete, one N chromosome would be 30 chromosomes. So just half the number of the diploid organism. So the number of chromosomes in honeybees is going to be 30 plus 2 and it's going to be 32. And it's also important to highlight that this is female European honeybee. In the next statement I will explain why it is important. Now, primary spermatocyte of an elephant has 40 chromosomes more than that of the chromosomes present in the photoreceptor cells of the male European honeybees. Now let me also highlight here that now we have male European honeybees and in the first uh, case we had female which has 32 chromosomes and in this insects like in many other insects not all of them but uh, in honeybees males are haploid if females are all diploid all males are haploid so they have half the number of chromosomes that females have females are 2n and has 32 chromosomes and males are 1n and have half the number so half of the 32 32 divided by 2 is going to be they have 16 chromosomes and primary spermatocyte is um, not haploid because sperm is haploid but primary spermatocyte give a rise to sperm so it is diploid it first give a rise to secondary spermatocyte so first of all it is diploid and we know that it has 40 chromosomes more than that of the um, chromosomes present in the photoreceptor cells of the male European honeybee. So we have to add 16 plus 40, 40 more, and we are going to get 56 chromosomes in diploid cells to N of the elephant. And now is a tricky statement. If the number of chromosomes present in a root cell of Arabidopsis zoliana is four less than the half number of chromosomes present in the spermatozoa of the elephant, then they determine the number of chromosomes present in the male gamete of the Arabidopsis zoliana. Arabidopsis zoliana is a plant. It is a model plant because it has very small genome and it was one of the first uh, genomes to be sequenced. Now let's analyze if the number of chromosomes present in a root cell, root cells of course diploid of Arabidopsis zoliana is four less than half the number of chromosomes present in the spermatozoa of elephant. It's easy to make a mistake here. Take a look. If elephant has 56 chromosomes, how many chromosomes elephant has in the spermatozoa or in other words sperm it's going to be half of this number it's going to be 28 right but half the number of chromosomes present in the spermatozoa so half of the half so spermatozoa is going to be 28 so let me probably write it down so 56 is deployed number in uh, whales or uh, sorry in uh, elephants we divide by two we are going to get 28 chromosomes present in the sperm of the elephants and we also divide it by two because half the number and we are going to get 14 and four less than this number so we have also subtract four subtract 4 and we are going to get 10. One more time, if the number of chromosomes present in the root cell of Arabidopsis zoliana is 4 less than the half a number of chromosomes present in the spermatozoa of elephant, then determine the number of chromosomes present in the male gamete of the Arabidopsis zoliana. So if this number is number of chromosomes in diploid organism then in a gamete 
of uh, this plant, it's going to be half of this number. So we have to divide by two and we are going to get five. And this is going to be our answer. One more time, 10 is going to be number of chromosomes present in the root cell of the Arabidopsis zaliana. But in gamete cell of the Arabidopsis zaliana, it's going to be half of this number. So we have to divide by two. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.